Hey Libra, what is going on? Welcome in to the channel. I am Deborah. This is Purush Intuitive, and we're going to be looking at the energy, <laughs> your energy more specifically, for the next couple weeks. So, welcome, welcome in. I love to start off our readings with an energy cleansing. There's been a lot going on lately in the collective. It's a good way to just ground ourselves, center ourselves, set intention, etc. And, you know, especially if you're working through something in your own individual life, I really like um, setting that intention, right? If you have any questions, if you want to hear specific uh, messages, right now is the time to ask spirit, universe, God, however that resonates for you. It's also a good practice just to clear out any unwanted energy, any blocks, obstacles that we might be coming into, places that we feel overwhelmed and burdened. We're just coming off of a full moon on the 25th. The energy has been a little bit heavier, right? Full moons heighten our feeling, our intuition, our emotion. And in the places that like we might not be so balanced. It can it can trigger, right? So it's I love this practice, like I said, just to kind of find some grounding, find some peace and balance within as we start our day, start our morning, however it might fare for you. All right, let's get going, Libra. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure love and grace. I release anything that is blocking the highest and best messages, fear, doubt, insecurity, lack of worth, lack of value, anger. Help make me a clear and open channel for the Libra Collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Mama, mama love. <laughs> we need that mama love lately. We're just about to move into Mercury retrograde. So it begins on April 1st, I believe. We're in the shadow period right now. So we might be feeling that energy, especially as it deals with our relationships right now in Libra, <laughs> your sign, right? Um, uh, you know, the South Node is in Libra. We're, we're really kind of struggling to find uh, balance, pushing beyond limitations, especially as it relates to, you know, our partnerships, whether they are romantic or not. And we really do have to find a way to tap into that love potential, the things that we care about, the things that make us feel happy and grounded in this world that allow us to thrive. And Libra actually does govern Venus energy. So let's get into it, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you for the next couple weeks. All right, let's get going. <laughs> All right, okay, so cultivate strength. So something's really requiring a lot of you right now. Strength, endurance is what I'm hearing. This is that ability to really kind of just, yes, we can all dream, fantasize about what we want, what we desire, but then we have to kind of like build up our resistance, our ability to make things happen. So spirit is asking you to stay strong right now, even if it feels really defeating, even if there's things happening in your world, in your environment, where you do feel like giving up, now is not the time to do it. I love that we're getting Leo energy as well. You could have Leo placements in your chart. You could also be dealing with a Leo. But Leo energy is really about stepping into our power, letting that proverbial light shine. Leos, regardless, <laughs> love being at front and center stage. And it's being able to like I said, empower yourself through the challenges, through the obstacles, so that you can let your best sense of self shine bright. And that's easier said than done, especially with whatever you are navigating right now. 
the places that we find more challenges, more difficulty, it can feel overwhelming. There's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of feeling with this cancer energy. This is also about tapping into our home, the places that we find nurture, love, support. Cancer rules the fourth house. And we really need to make sure that we are supporting ourselves right now during this time. We're giving ourselves the love and care that we need. Remember, staying balanced, right, as Libra does so well. And paying attention, right, paying attention to those places where we're being triggered. There's a lot of emotional energy on the table for you today for these next couple weeks. And just in general, like I said, right, we're coming from that full moon earlier this week. And, you know, we need, we need to build our sustenance. We need to feel, um, even, like I said, even in those places where it's hard to find harmony and balance, where we're feeling the resistance. It's being able to acknowledge those things, to look at them clearly, <laughs> you know, understanding. We need to make sure that we're not letting our ego, our pride get in the way. Spirit saying that there are options in front of you. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be stressed out. Again, even where it doesn't feel like you have those, where you don't feel like you can do it, where you feel like, you know, defeated is what I'm hearing. This isn't an easy energy because it's fighting between your emotions, how you feel in your life, and, and how you actually want it to be, right? Standing in your power, standing in your strength, and not being afraid. But again, a lot of that stuff is like easier said than done, <laughs> right? Yeah, so there's a lot, again, confirmation, thank you, spirit, full moon in your energy, a lot popping off, a lot that's triggering you. Again, trying to find ways to be balanced, right? Balance and grounding. I mean, I really find value in doing things like an energy clearing, taking a walk outside, meditation, transcendental meditation more specifically. Places that we can, we can't always fix all the problems, all the difficulties. We can't help it, the places that we're triggered. All we can do is honor our heart, our mind, our soul, and try to find more grounding and try to find more balance. Yeah, making it happen, Libra. I love this magician energy. It sucks, right? I, I think it's like, it is a test of your strength. It is a test of your power. And a lot of these Zodiac readings have been heavier. They, they're, they're, we're in this space with Pluto moving into Aquarius where we are being challenged. We are being tested our strength, our fortitude, our ability to stay focused on the end goal and not get sucked into the drama, into the chaos, using the power, the wisdom that you have to overcome what is currently happening for you. Queen of Pentacles in your environment, so Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Someone coming in who... I don't know. I feel like this, like I get this sense this is someone who messed with you. Yeah, someone who made things really difficult. Who actually, I feel like you're seeing, you're seeing a situation. What I'm hearing is you're seeing a situation where someone really did do you wrong. Whether they are an earth sign or they just embody this energy, this is someone who put up a lot of block, a lot of resistance around you. I'm hearing like you probably didn't even know it. <laughs> you probably didn't even see it. Maybe you're seeing parts of it right now. And, and because of that, as much as maybe you want to reach out, as much as maybe you want to have a conversation, find your justice, find your validation, I don't think it's going to happen, right? Because this person is very stubborn. They could have messed with your finances. Justice energy is your card. It's also about the justice system, right? Legality, contracts, partnerships, 
things more of that nature. Now that we're moving into Mercury retrograde, we're in the shadow period right now, it's best not to start, <laughs> sign any contracts, start anything new, especially during this time. If you already have something in the works, that's one thing, right? But I'm hearing for this, this is someone who has put up or did put up a lot of um, difficulties for you. And you, you might be hashing this out in the courts, right? In the legal system, trying to get what's due to you. And you're looking at it like, shit, <laughs> this sucks, right? It is overwhelming. It is humbling. It's a bitter pill to swallow is what I'm hearing. It's not something, I feel like you had hints around this. You kind of knew, but maybe not the full gravity, the full weight of what this individual or situation did to you, limited you, right? Tried to get... I, I, I'm hearing it was like revenge. It was like revenge that was done in a really sneaky <laughs> and slick way. And like I said, I don't get the vibe that you were fully aware of it at the time. But right now, it's so important with this temperance energy to stay grounded, to stay stable, to choose the middle of the road. And Libra, if out of any of the signs in the zodiac, you do that the best. It's just allowing yourself, honoring yourself in that space and not getting too emotionally pulled one way or the other. It's been a harsh wake up call. It's been a harsh reality. It comes with a lot of burden, with a lot of pain, sadness. But again, this was this person, this situation's intention. And now you see it very clearly for what it is who they are, how they operated, how they treated you, the promises, right? The promises that they tried to lure you in with versus what actually happened. And a lot of this over these next couple of weeks, you're kind of dealing with and struggling. Maybe, again, you want to address it. Maybe you want to have a conversation. It, I would encourage you probably not. I don't think you're going to get what you want out of this person, because with that Eight of Swords and their energy, they're not really willing to talk about it. They're not really willing to address it. Sorry, Libra, this is a heavy energy. I, you know, and unfortunately, here's the thing. What I like about this for you is it's like, okay, it's over and done with. I don't feel like it's something that needs to be rehashed. You see it for what it is. Yes, you could reach out. Yes, you could say something. But I really don't feel like you're going to get a response, number one. Or if you do get a response, it's not going to be something that feels good. It's actually just going to like compound and maximize the pain and the sadness that you're going through. And so Spirit's just saying, just move on, right? Move on. You have a new cycle in front of you. What's done is done. We can't change the past. And oftentimes when we're looking for that validation, we really just need to give that to ourselves, you know, be your own cheerleader. Even if you don't have people around you giving you that, you can still give it to yourself. Taking a new approach with how you handle, how you manage things, especially the things that are more important to you with this Hierophant energy. The Hierophant is really about following tradition, following following the rules, <laughs> you know, which uh, might not be fun <laughs> for some of us, right? But there's value in that. There's value in how to approach things, approaching it differently, because it protects you is what I'm hearing. It honors and protects you. We can't control the shitty, horrible things that people do to us. I've learned this lesson very acutely with a lot of different people <laughs> all across the board. It's, it's really sad how vindictive people can be, how toxic they can be, 
choosing out of their own ego. We can't control any of that though, right? The only thing we can do, I tell my son this all the time, is control ourselves, how we show up, who we are. And a lot of times when people choose low vibey things, they are trying to destabilize us. They're trying to get the best out of us. It's all about this emotional energy, being able to manage it and control it in a way that honors you, right? We all have emotions. Like I was saying earlier, we can't necessarily, you know, know when we're going to get triggered. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we can. But a lot of times we have to uh, have tools in place that help us stay balanced, that help us stay grounded for the times that things like this pop off. When we see someone's true colors, when we see who they are, when we see how underhanded they are, how they operated behind your back. Double confirmation on that moon energy. I really do feel like spirit wants you to feel your emotions, feel your feels, right? If we don't, if we don't acknowledge, if we repress, if we shove down, try to block that energy, it actually is just more hurtful for us. And so spirit saying, feel it, acknowledge it, understand it, but you don't necessarily need to uh, react out of it is what I'm hearing. Yeah, stepping into this power, this queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, right? We're seeing that double confirmation with this Leo energy. I feel like this is you stepping into your power, finding that balance, finding that harmony, finding that charisma, and not being afraid to do so, you know? Not putting yourself down anymore because of how shitty people have been or, or how they showed up for you. Let the past be the past is what I'm hearing. There's no reason to reopen any of those doors, any of those connections. Spirit's asking you to completely cut it off, especially the people, places, and things that are very toxic, you know? That blew a bunch of smoke and mirrors, right? <laughs> Is that, I know smoke and mirrors is a phrase, but I don't know if you blow, if you blow it. Sounds scandalous. <laughs> um, all right, Libra, let's close this out. I like this. I think it is going to be a lot. It's going to be very heavy. These next couple weeks, like I said, we're seeing that with all the Zodiac readings. But it's an opportunity to empower ourselves, to strengthen ourselves, through the challenges, through the difficulty. Yeah, the plague doctor. <laughs> this, I got this deck during COVID. That card would come up all the time. I find that ironic or not. I think the cards never lie. But this is a disease. This is something or someone. Um, I'm hearing it's like maybe some naivete on your end, Libra. Trusting people, places, and things. Especially things that can be incredibly toxic for us. And doing so with this level of blind ignorance. And I feel like some of that awareness is coming to light. Finding ways to protect yourself, to give you strength and stability. Yeah, we can make a choice. It's about which way we're going to go. Are we going to let it defeat us? Are we going to let it push us down? Or are we going to move forward and say, okay, again, you can do what you want. You can act, behave, say what you want to say, but I still can be me. I still can be strong and empowered despite. So crazy, dude. People are crazy. Yeah. Keep it on lockdown, right, is what I hear. Really honor yourself. Support yourself in this process. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to put yourself first is what I'm hearing. And really bite your tongue. We are in Mercury retrograde, right? Or we're moving into it, I should say. So this is that value. Communication already gets really wonky during this time. So it's like even more that friendly reminder. Don't, don't let it get the best of you, right? Like 
why why try to communicate with someone or something that really just doesn't want to give you that honor and respect who can't even be honest is what i'm hearing right you know it's it's better to work through it in your own way protecting your heart your mind your soul and using your intuition around this you know you've known this it's, it's just come to light in a, in a little bit harsher way. Not good, bad, right, or wrong. I feel like the clarity is empowering for you. But there's also, again, that message, Libra, to not let it get the best of you, right? Like, just to allow yourself to see it for what it is, but still stand strong in your power. Still feel um, how amazing you are, how far you've come, the wisdom that you've gained. And using that that energy first before we dive back into, you know, match someone's low vibiness, right? So crazy. All right, Libra, thank you so much, especially if you've made it this far in the video. I really appreciate your time and energy always. No, I'm sending love and blessings to whatever you're navigating through. Uh, my heart is with you. I know these things are very difficult. I appreciate your love and support to the channel. I'm sending it back your way.